Hello everyone, I'm Josh Rubenstein, Public Information Director for the Los Angeles Police Department. This critical incident community briefing is intended to provide you with information about an officer-involved shooting that occurred in Hollywood Division in the city of LA on October 18th, 2020. You're about to see relevant video footage and learn about other evidence and police procedures related to the case, so you can have a better understanding of what occurred based on what we know right now. The LAPD conducts very thorough use of force investigations, which typically require investigators to interview multiple witnesses, view numerous hours of video footage, and analyze a significant amount of forensic evidence. We're still at the very early stages of this investigation, which can often take up to a year to complete, and our understanding of the incident may change as this additional evidence is collected, analyzed, and reviewed. We also do not draw any conclusions about whether the officers acted consistent with our policies and the law until all the facts are known and the investigation is complete. Word of caution, the images and information you are about to see may be disturbing. When a police officer uses force to arrest a suspect or defend against an attack, it can be graphic and difficult to watch. In addition, there may be strong language used by those shown in the video. Viewer discretion is advised, especially for young children and sensitive viewers. Hello, I'm Captain Stacy Spell of Media Relations Division of the Los Angeles Police Department. And I'm going to give you a brief overview of an incident that occurred on October 18th, 2020, around 10.05 p.m. Fullerton Police Department detectives were in the area of 5500 Melrose Avenue on a follow-up for a child sexual abuse case. The Fullerton police officers requested the assistance of LAPD Hollywood Division officers to assist them in taking a suspect into custody. That suspect was later identified as Brian Gudiel Barrios. Prior to LAPD officers' arrival, Fullerton Police Department detectives approached Barrios in a driveway to Paramount Studios. When Barrios realized they were police officers, he declared that his life was over and he began cutting himself with a knife. Barrios ran away from officers eastbound and stopped briefly at the gate to the studios as he continued to cut himself. Several LAPD units arrived during that time. Here's body-worn video from the Fullerton Police Department. Put the knife down. Greg, go mid-block. Go mid-block. He's got a knife to his throat. Knife to his throat. Hey, buddy, you're fine. No, you're not, buddy. You're not. No, you're not. Hey, stop. Stop. Go back. No, it's not, man. Hey, hey, your knife. Your life's not over, sir. Hey, sir, stop. Sir, stop. Your life's not over. Your life's not over. Sir, your life's not over. No, sir. 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 Hey, come on, buddy. Hey, come on. Put the knife. Put the knife down. Put the knife down. Put the knife down. Greg, taser. 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 Put the knife down, dude. Put the knife down, buddy. Hey, put the knife down. Negative, Jenny. He's cutting himself or running eastbound. Get those LAPD officers here. Hey, buddy, put the knife down. Put the knife down, bud. Put the knife down. Hey. Wait out for me. Running eastbound on Melrose. I need those LAPD units here. Code 3. He's cutting himself. North sidewalk. Put the knife down, buddy. Hey, come on, buddy. Put the knife down. No, I don't want you to die, dude. Put the knife down. No, hey, put it down, buddy. Come on. Hey, no, put it down. No, you're not. No, you're not. No, this is going to be okay. Put it down. No, you're going to be okay. You're going to be, no, come on, buddy. Put the knife down. You're going to be all right, bro. You're going to be okay. Put the knife down. Put it down. Put it down, bro. Put it down, buddy. Put it down. Drop the knife. Drop it, buddy. Drop it. Drop the knife, buddy. Come on, buddy. Lay down. Toss the knife, dude. Toss the knife. Drop the knife, Brian. Brian, drop the knife. Despite beanbag rounds and 40 millimeter rounds being used, Barrios continued to run away and entered the Paramount Studios lot with the knife in his hand. That is when an officer-involved shooting occurred. Barrios was not struck by the gunshot. As he continued to run away, he entered a building and hid from pursuing officers. A containment perimeter was established and additional resources, including Metropolitan Canine officers, responded. Barrios was located on the fourth floor of a structure on the lot, and after being persuaded to put down the knife he was holding, he was taken into custody. The beanbag shotgun is a Remington 870 shotgun which has been configured with a green slide handle and stock, rifled barrel, and side saddle ammunition holder. The color green is used to signify 
that the shotgun is for the sock round only, not lethal munitions, and designed to fire a cloth sock filled with small metal pellets. The primary target area is the naval area or belt line. Officers may target the suspect's arms, hands, or legs when practicable. The 40 millimeter less lethal device fires a foam projectile round. The round strikes the person's body and is intended to cause pain, and while there may be bruising, it is designed to be non-penetrating by distributing energy over a broad surface area. Body-worn video cameras are used by most officers assigned to field duties. They are worn at chest level and capture a general perspective within line of sight from that angle. The angle of the camera prohibits viewers from seeing everything the officer saw and experienced. Upon activation, both audio and video will turn on. However, body-worn video cameras have a buffer of video without audio from the previous two minutes prior to activation. This feature is designed to capture incidents that occur suddenly where an officer doesn't immediately activate the camera. Body-worn video from the officer who fired his weapon was not activated and does not capture the officer involved shooting when it is finally activated. Drop the knife. Drop the knife. Lay down. Drop the knife. Beanbag it. Beanbag him. Drop it. Beanbag it, partner. Beanbag him. Drop the knife. Drop the knife. Drop it. Drop the knife. Drop the knife. I got a 40. I got less lethal. Drop it, drop it, drop it. Drop it. Drop it, drop it! 
Hey, look, we're here already. We're trying to help you. If you just come to me, no I, we will get you a rescue, and we will have somebody take care of you. Okay? Just put the knife down. I know you're, you really don't want to hurt yourself. You've already done enough. Just do me a solid and put that knife down. What's your name? What's your name? What's your name? Come on, just t I'm just trying to communicate. My name's Al, what's your name? Brian? Brian, just put the knife down. I can help you, okay? We're not here to hurt you. We want to help you right now, okay? If you just put the knife down, I can help you, okay? Just watch yourself, watch yourself. Step back, step back, let's not commit. We just don't want to. Come on, Brian. Just put the knife down. Yeah. Here, give me a favor. Somebody come on, don't do that. It's loaded. Come on, Brian. Don't do that. Don't hurt yourself anymore, okay? Come on. I'll help you get out of here. All you got to do is do me. I'm going to take care of you as long as you help me, okay? Just put the knife down and just come over towards me, and I'll get you the help, and we'll take care of you. We're not here to hurt you. Well, we're not done talking. Come on, Brian. We can work on this together. I know we're both waiting for the same thing. But if you put that knife down, it'll be quicker for both of us. Quicker for you and I can help you. All right, Brian? You just put that down by your side. There you go. Perfect. See, I'm not. That's perfect. Thank you. Hold on. Yeah, bye. Just tell CP whatever. Yep. Yeah. I got chaser. There you go. Nice away. There you go. There you go, Brian. That away. That away, Brian. That away. Good job, Brian. We're to help you right now, Brian. ACP is going to be in custody. He dropped the knife. We're going to need that already. All right. Hold on, guys. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. Brian. Hey, Brian. 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 Stay with me, Brian. Barrios was transported and admitted to a local hospital where he received medical treatment for self-inflicted knife wounds. The knife Barrios had used to injure himself was in the area where he was taken into police custody. 
The criminal investigation into charges against Barrios remains with Fullerton Police Department. Brian Goodell, Barrios is a 36-year-old resident of Fullerton. In the next several months, the LAPD will continue to investigate and analyze this incident. They'll continue interviewing any new witnesses that may come forward and complete any forensic tests. After the investigation is completed, our Critical Incident Review Division will forward their findings to the Chief of Police who will make his recommendation to the Civilian Board of Police Commissioners. The Board will evaluate the evidence to determine whether the officer's tactics, drawing and exhibiting of a weapon, and use of deadly force in this instance met the high standards expected of all LAPD officers. If you'd like more information on how the LAPD and the LA District Attorney's Office investigates all officer-involved shootings and other serious uses of force, visit lapdonline.org, where you can also find LAPD's use of force policies and procedures. Thanks for taking the time to view this critical incident community briefing.